we just cut the wood that goes around the um, shower pan. Look at that. Uh, uh, that looks good. How'd you cut it? It fits perfectly. Does it? Yeah. How'd you Hold cut on. it? With that. You cut it with that? Yeah. You can cut metal with that. Right? Is that okay? <laughs> oh, I don't shoot, know. Really? You're not supposed to. So we're Wait, trying to close. decide on whether or not we want half covered with mesh. Close it again. One. Like, look. I can't close it immediately. <laughs> I mean, so I'm this, fine with either way. I'm, I'm, I'm literally it. just pointing out a possibility. That's all I'm doing. I'm totally fine with it. I'm just trying to think okay. this piece that's going across here. I see what you're saying. Right okay, here. yeah, do the whole thing. Plus, I like I see the way what the bottom here looks compared to this. It looks way more finished and clean because it covers like this I little agree. space. Yeah, if we don't have, they're called storm clips for okay. windows. And it's like a little, it pushes it against here and then you drill here and you. Yeah. So, okay. the one well, thing I I'm trust you now, so I saw what you could do, and I'm like, all right, sounds <laughs> the good. The one thing I'm gonna miss being able to do once we put the screens on stick your head out. Maybe we leave a couple windows open, and those only go open if there's no bugs. We can do every other window or something. Those are the windows that we open when we want airflow, but then if we want, you know, to stick our head out of something. We can do that. Outfit and then we'll all of figure them, it out later. And then you can take them off if you need to, whatever. Because okay. we already bought the materials to do all, yeah, all of them. Yeah, I'll do it, yeah. So I say send it. Those fit perfectly though. Right? So we can obviously paint the nasty metal. So that's the project Ashley's gonna be working on. <laughs> I'm gonna start building the dresser and desk thing. But first, I caved and I bought Gorilla Tape. So I'm gonna be putting that around the skylight because that's gonna be a lot more efficient than silicone. The silicone might crack and it's just a whole big thing. So I'm probably gonna use that tape instead. So I just finished the window screen frames. I took this aluminum metal sheet and measured it out specifically for the window framing and then cut it specifically to those numbers and then I added in these little corner pieces um, to make the whole frame. So I'm going to take this mesh and cut it out to the perimeter of the frames and then there's these little grooves in here that you're gonna push the screen in look at this i mean it's really basic but the fact that this is flush with this table now is going to be so helpful the main reason i did this was because i was about to build the dresser which is a lot of plywood doing that on a table saw while it's not flush with a table or having any other support around it is literal Death. But right now it's a little late to start on the dresser. I'm actually gonna take this Gorilla Tape, which I bought at Home Depot just now, to officially waterproof the skylight because I'm sick of playing around and I caved. Ashley's working on the window seals still. Those look so good. She's been cutting away, so. I just have to do the screen and the spy spiel. Spline. So we got that side done and this side. I still gotta do that and that over there. I still think that it's not leaking from these, even though I wanted to really make sure. I think it's leaking more so from in here. What, uh, what do we got here? What is this? We're cutting all of the uh, plywood for the dresser that we're building. It's a dresser, it's a bed, and it's a desk. So this is it right here. We have tons of storage out of this thing, but then also a place to sleep and a place to work. Why is that so off? I don't know. How big of a gap underneath this dresser do we want? Fit like the mattress. Are we, we're definitely not getting an actual mattress. No. We're getting like a foam. We could do like four inches, maybe, you know. Yeah, it's probably the You like my hat? You wanna stuff it underneath the dresser, right? Yes, this is intense. <laughs> hey, we're gonna come to New Zealand and go see Solomon. So we're gonna try and hook up Ashley with him. <laughs> Solomon, if you're watching, be expecting us. How long do you think it'll be until we get there? How strong is your love? <laughs> you Solomon, if you wanna bring us all out, dude, we'll set you up on a date. So a sneak peek into Micah's bucket list. While we're in Tennessee, to try and get a date by using the pickup line, are you from Tennessee? Cause you're only the tennis. Only the tip. <laughs> I can't even say it right. How am I supposed to get a date? Hey guys, I found Gunner. <laughs> so this is what's gonna hold the shelving inside of the dresser. Wait, say that again. So this is what's. <laughs> ah. All right, let's put it back down. I'm gonna do um, a second pass with it. Ah, 
Ashley is a bit upset because she just ran out of screen, which she thought she had. Well, it's like the mystery of where the last one went because I know I cut enough. Dude, today's been a frustrating day for us. I know. Let me tell you what. We had to try and fit four by four sheets of wood into her car. Not every day can be, you know, rainbows and butterflies. Sometimes it's just frustrating. It's not all glamorous. But I just finished making these cables that are going to keep the skylight from opening too far. I'm gonna go put these up right now while you try and figure out how to solve your problem. I literally just need like one more. <laughs> it looks like someone's making another trip to Home Depot. You <laughs> hit it, I know you did. I didn't hide nothing. You hit it. I didn't hide anything. Someone hit it. Cut just it like up. you hid my hiking pants. So we are on our way to FedEx to print out our Nevada State business license. We finally got approved, which is so nice just to see the cool little paper, but I haven't told Gunnar yet, I haven't told Micah. Are on our way to print it out, get a frame for it, and then hand it to them while it's framed because I think they're really gonna get excited for it. Yes. The only thing is the printer sucks, so it got cut off on the top. Yeah. But we'll probably we'll like repaint it later, but whatever. Yeah. Take that out. And we'll go like that. <gasps> Good thing we haven't left yet. I could have just done this. Those are hopes and dreams shattered right there. 12 seconds later. If I break this again, I'm gonna be like done with my day. Now we'll go back in. And we'll, uh, we'll probably change the background. All right, let's go. What's that? Sorry. It's there. cut off at the top. I know. Okay, I'm joking. Cool, right? It's so cool. This is the general dresser slash bed slash desk slash A. It's leaning. B. I'm not very upset. Yeah, yeah. I didn't even notice it. Like, yeah, it's oh, leaning. Oh, well, now I do. <laughs> in the bus. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah, I noticed that. Yeah. But. I mean, in the bus, once it's mounted down and everything, it'll straighten out a little bit. If I did the two by fours first, the framing, it wouldn't be leaning. It was just so flimsy when I put it together with the plywood that it kind of just teeter tottered and it was just a mess. What we still have to do is cut these down right here. They're gonna be sliding doors. That piece is gonna be on top of this and then it's going to fold. So there's gonna be hinges across the top part front of this, and then there'll be foldable legs that'll fold down and support it. So it'll be like this wide. Oh, so you're actually gonna be laying on this then? Yeah, you'll be laying on the top of this. Mm. It's almost done. We just gotta add the doors, put the backing on, paint it, and then we're pretty much set. All right, my peeps, this is the finished dresser. Still have to paint it, make it look good. I'm gonna add little end caps right here because that was just my fault, I'm an idiot. But the little lip right here is supposed to support the piece. That's gonna fold over. And then I just bought hardware on Amazon that's actually going to be a locking triangle piece that will eliminate the need for legs. So hopefully that works. The guide for the doors I ordered on Amazon, so those will be here tomorrow or the day after that, hopefully. Someone commented about us having a lot of white. Yes, we're gonna have a lot of white because we're going for like a very modernistic, simplistic style inside the bus. But there's gonna be white, there's going to be dark woods, dark countertops, and then also we're gonna have dark wood flooring. It'll level itself out between lights and darks. And then we're gonna add accents of possibly like mint or greens. That's kind of what we decided to go for. The rest of today, we're gonna be building the kitchen cabinets, and then we're also gonna try and stain the countertop for the kitchen also today, which is this piece right here. After the kitchen is done, we'll be able to cut out this piece to the kitchen. The sink needs to be cut out, but then also the holes for the faucet and all that stuff. So just got done sanding this thing. I started staining it, but then I realized very quickly that I still had to sand quite a bit um, because the edges weren't sanded. But then I also realized it would be smarter to do this after the wood is already cut um, for the countertops. That way I can do all the edges and all that stuff. So I'm actually gonna wait to stain it until it's actually completely cut and fit. Let's go see what the girls are working on because they are building the kitchen cabinets as far as I'm aware. Oh. 